Hi everyone, it's Dave from Sailing Vashti. If you're not familiar with us, we are an American boat and we are here in Shoepack Bay in Ontario and we've been here for a few days. We legally checked into Canada about 10 days ago. And let me tell you, it was not easy, but I want to give you a couple of the details that we learned. We spent probably three weeks making phone calls, researching, figuring out how that was going to work. And of course, one of the major hurdles was just getting that COVID test. And we were kind of in a remote area at the time. So we ended up having to get one at Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And a friend was kind enough actually to drive us up there. But the biggest hurdle was figuring out where to take this boat to get it legally checked into Canada. So after several days of research, we ended up getting in touch with the CBSA, the Canadian Border Services Agency in Sault Ste. Marie. And even though all of the ports of entry were technically closed to pleasure craft, we found out that they were willing to send an officer to one of the two ports there in Sault Ste. Marie to check us in legally. So when we called the CanPass phone number to check in, of course, the officer that we talked to there uh, told us that the port that we were going to check into was technically closed, but uh, we said that we had spoken to a local officer and that they were willing to meet us there. And so that ended up working out for us, although I'm not sure that's been working out. I'm not sure that's worked for everyone, so Definitely do your research. That may or may not work at a different land crossing like at Cernia or Windsor. To be honest, we're not really sure. There was a lot of different information floating around, uh, but that is what worked for us. Now we're gonna bop around Canada here for a few weeks before we try to check back into the US. If you're interested in following our excursions here in Canada, be sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in figuring out how we are able to check back into the U.S., if we're able to, we don't really know how that's going to work yet. Uh, be sure to subscribe for that too. And uh, we'll have that information for you in a few weeks.